I just got a quarter million to do something, and I'm not willing to throw that away to come clear up no shit that's ancient. Like, I'm just not, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to risk my bag, the current one, to talk about no bullshit. Or to beat bitches up that I'm going to run into. I run into them, trust me. And hopefully I have enough free time to bop, bop, bop. Hey, y'all. But right now, we on, we back to real life. And the motherfuckers who got real emotions, so. We back to real life, baby. I, I can't keep on um, hit and stop and restart just to play. I can't. If everybody who's taking interviews and stuff like that, addressing Tommy and all that bullshit, one thing about it, only person child I ever mentioned was we all know who that was. And the apology was as loud as the disrespect. I ain't about to keep apologizing. Honestly, I really don't feel like I said nothing too out of the way because I don't play with nobody's kids. But it's the um, the drugs for me. Like, I'm too raw of a bitch to use drugs. I can't even imagine playing in my nose and playing in my motherfucking face like that. Bitch, I'm too scared. Let's let's start there. I'm too scared to use coke. I'm scared. Bitch, the way I be looking, the way I be acting, as crazy as I already am, you think I need a fucking adjustment, a add-on to this shit? No, I have a natural motherfucking personality as a great kid. Always lit, always on 100,000. Just, I don't know. Sometimes I be wanting to calm down, but I can't. My energy is, is that. And it's just a positive wave, though. We always over here having fun to the point where motherfuckers are like, what is it that you do? Yeah, I turn everything into fun. Whatever it is, I'm going to live my life while I'm doing it. Whatever job I do, whatever job I take. But that doesn't never consist of me doing say no to drugs, kids. The Percocet is not cocaine. And it is a pain pill. And it was getting used when I first got my teeth done. Do I just freely use Percocets? No. Just in my spare time, am I running around just popping up Percocet just because I'm a rapper? <laughs> no. So, yeah, I ain't do nobody like nothing. I want to break this all down for y'all because it's a chance I'm not going to make it to that um, reunion. Regardless, because I have another bag on the table. So, what's up? Questions. It's Q&A and we're going to be done with it. But Tommy will mix that Henny and that Chardonnay, though. It was the Henny and the Champagne. That's the passion. <laughs> but I don't drink that no more because that shit started giving me headaches and all type of shit. Hangovers. I just drink wine when I do drink. Oh, yeah. I'm so scared. I'm scared of all those bitches over there. Terrified. That's why I lived in the house with him because I'm so fucking scared. That's why I pulled up to clubs with him for fucking two months because I'm so fucking scared. That's why I went to London and got on a whole boxing match because I'm terrified. No, I had to take some business calls. My bad, I'm bad. What's up? Let's finish because I ain't going to speak on it no more unless they cut it. Uh, I wish I was that important that I would have to really sit up here and lie to y'all at my grown age. I really wish. Uh -huh. Before you. For me, like, let me tell y'all how crazy. If a bitch come to my city, and come to a club first in my city. If I say I run my city like that, this bitch, this little, the, this little hoe got the audacity. Me, I'm the little whore. I got the audacity to pull up to their city. 
Walk around there freely. Fuck everything else. Walk around there freely. No security. I don't want y'all security around me. Fuck the security over there at Zeus because they been getting on my nerve this whole motherfucking time and they ain't securing shit. Why they ain't talking about that shootout? The fake shootout where a nigga just went to spaz and off lean and shot at the ground. Why they ain't talking about that? You shooting at the ground and in the sky, nigga. Over a female fight. Why they ain't put that in the episode? Who knows? But that's why I ain't want them securities around me. Because they play games. Security want to be on camera and I hear them laughing and joking about, oh, certain shit, certain bitches, all the shit is just not professional. So I ain't want nothing or no none of them around me. A few of them cool. Not all of them. A few of them. Like, like one, two. few. But, um, yeah. So, the audacity to come to your city. What you say is, your city. Go to a nail salon. No security. Go to crustaceans. No security. Just two females. Just me and my little sister. No security. Come in there. Snap on the whole house. No security. Go stay at house. No security. Get a sprint, no security. Go to, no security. There before anybody, no security. If it, but it's your city. If it was my city, if a bitch went to North, you're not coming in no club of hours at all. Let alone you coming by yourself. Even if it's business, even if we book you to fuck you up, you're not coming in there by yourself and repping like that. And then make it so bad, they show love. When I motherfucking left, I heard shoes was getting thrown and all type of disrespect was going on. If that's your man, if that's your homegirl, why in the fuck isn't she good in your city? They throwing shoes at homegirl on stage and it's your friend city. So, like, y'all got to just pay attention to the details and stop letting these motherfuckers spin y'all and string y'all along for the okie doke. Be for real. And then a, a, a fucking jump. I don't got to do that. I would have called more motherfuckers than just my little sister for a jump. Don't you think? Why would I have to jump somebody that already whooped their ass? Not glamorizing fighting because I'm a lady. And we're way past that. I done did that shit forever. Right now, I'm, I'm never going to get too old to be to defend myself. To be in defense mode if somebody try me. But me going around initiating fights and holding a grudge like it's that deep. That's never going to, I'm never going to be that one. I got too much shit going on and we just got too much to lose. I just have a lot to lose. And I, nine times out of ten, if I'm thinking about anything, it's my bag or my kids or my motherfucking family. I'm not sitting around wasting my head space. About some dumb shit that holds no weight in my life. I don't know these people for real. They shouldn't be feeling like that about me. Y'all don't know me for real. Y'all should never waste no time. No, not a minute of space. And y'all motherfucking head about a person like me. Because I ain't going to never give a fuck. I don't feel nothing. So I, I hope nobody's sitting around really harboring all this weird ass energy. But a bitch who don't give a fuck about them. Come fight for what? Give me a reason. Give me a reason. If somebody run up on me and hit me, I'm a dog walk they ass. But come fight for what? Come fight for what? For y'all entertain me? You want me to lose my deals for y'all entertain me? I'm pussy. I'm scared. I'm scared. Them girls really tormenting me in that house. <laughs> y'all can't be for real. Y'all cannot be for real. Still, y'all still doing it. I don't know who Peter Griffin is because I don't watch TV unless I'm on it and I'm trying to see how a motherfucker playing with me. So I don't know. Like the cartoon jokes. Like I'm not a bitch who sit up and watch cartoons and TV and know all these little weird ass shit going on. But ask me about some money. I could tell you about that. I don't get the joke. Sorry, it missed me. Now, who sits around it? Are you fucking serious? This grade school ass bullshit. Grow up. Biggie is cool. 
What lie I told? Why would I have to tell one? For who? For who? They lame as hell. Exactly. This ain't my... I know this ain't my people talking like this. Oh, fashion over. About to do a little post real quick. Let me put my ass up. Just a little fashion over I wear around the house. Yo, Grill 55 was so good. I was talking about that just yesterday. Like the lamb, they lamb, they um I had yams. I had I don't think about the collard greens, it wasn't no meat. And, and I, I, I ain't used to eating collard greens like that. You know, South, I lived in the South too long. You got to at least have some turkey, some um, somebody neck in there, and your collard greens, it, it got to be real flavorful. So the only thing I give, like, a five to is the collard greens, but everything else, too crazy. Oh, and I even ate fried green tomatoes, and they got this little sauce with the fried green tomatoes. Too good. Grill 55 Cleveland. Yes, the best to do it. That food is good. That food good. A ham hot, yes. You gotta have that in the collard greens. I'm sorry. I don't give a fuck what type of vegan health kick motherfuckers on. I need meat in my collard greens. Somebody in it. Mm -hmm. We already just got on here and said, what's up? I got another deal. It ain't about me changing my mind. I wish I could. Y'all know I be trolling. So I was going to act like, I ain't going to go. And then pop out on the host. But now, I really can't go. Like, it's on the same day as it's 420. And I'm dropping something fire for y'all. We on to the next bag. We ain't still pondering and doing all that. That's why I'm trying to clear up what I can clear up for y'all. And I just pray they make it through and it be exciting without me. You know, them girls got it. <laughs> they got it over there. They interesting, right? They gonna be alright. Oh, please don't go live about me. I ain't gonna never tune in. I don't care. Yeah, 420. 420 is um I'm dropping something real special for y'all. Y'all gonna see billboards everywhere. It's going crazy. Who is little tinies? Shout out to little tinies. Me, I don't think so. A lot of people been saying that, so I ain't watch um the shit before I became a part of it. But a lot of people been saying that it was, and I could see that too. I could see like it is kind of boring. I feel like it's because when bitches get around. A, another type of certain caliber bitch they try to be something they not and so everybody was already so popping they were so famous before they got on the show they were so rich they had so many businesses they had this going on that going on they stopped so much motion to come be on that television show it didn't give like they real character it didn't give like they real personalities and a lot of it is just flaw as fuck. Like, I feel like motherfuckers was faking and they was just going to come on there like they was already famous and the world already knew them. And I feel like that's what hindered a lot of people from me. When I first got on TV after the show, the first episode dropped, I, been, I was booked and I was booked ever since. But they'll let a motherfucker come lie to them and say they making 20000 How you making 20000 when that's with Ari, Jada, myself, you only had no relevance like that. You ain't got no song, so how are you? And you ain't got no rapper, baby daddy. How you make it 20000 But you a lot of these girls all day. You make it 20000 So now they feel like, oh, we ain't finna look like lightweight. Now they out here really actually trying to charge 20000 Bitch, you better take them 5500 and keep it pushing. Don't let nobody make you miss your back because they lying to you. I promise you I can show you right now what the same motherfucker said. They make 20000 took 5000 I can show you right now. All y'all bitches, get y'all money and stop acting like you son that you not. Be yourself, living your truth. Grow. Your fans going to grow with you. If you pop out already, already that, 
boo. Ain't nothing. You get what I'm saying? It's nothing to follow. It's nobody to. It's nothing to motherfucking. It's no testimony to that. Pop out like how you are. Bitch, if they offering you 55, honey. If they offering y'all motherfuckers 25, honey. And it ain't too far away. And, and, it's, and they paying for your flights and all of that shit. I'd rather get paid 25, honey. If I was new in the game. To go out and club. And just party for an hour. Versus me going, buying a section, buying a bottle, or basically y'all be sucking niggas dick to motherfucking feel important and put the flash on your phone and shit and saying in the nigga section, you can have your own section, look boss, and get paid 2500 your name start ringing, boom, other clubs want to book you, you got good energy, you fuck with the crowd, bam, and you keep that going, then, you know what I'm saying, it becomes a thing, you know, the later you get, the more money you could charge, but y'all ain't did nothing. You don't have no fucking accolades or no motherfucking respect or no title or no nothing to be requesting some of the numbers that y'all requesting. Like, be real with yourself. Stop bullshitting with yourself. And stop, you know what I'm saying, missing money. You get a little bag and you all you got to do is party. That's it. Stop acting like, oh, you was making 20000 Oh, you're worth 20000 Stop acting like you're worth something that you're not. I beg. I beg for you to stop acting like you worth something that you're not and to humble down and enjoy the experience because it ain't going to be here always and always be planning for the next move. Always keep something tucked. Always keep the next motherfucking, uh, when that run out, boom, we already on this. We already on this and we making money and I sleep anyway. So we never ever going to feel a drought. We never ever going to feel a recession. None of that. Like if I was to feel what's going on right now, and then just, you know what I'm saying, move abruptly because of my situation. I've seen it online. If I wasn't where I am, if I didn't plan for these type of instances, then I would be in a bad spot. But I don't move like spinning on my, y'all be living outside y'all means and trying to pump fake for people who don't even fucking like you and trying to motherfucking buy every single thing that you fucking see and never saving for a rainy day or something to happen. So that's why y'all in the fucked up predicament y'all in. Even if something happens to me today, my broke will never be y'all broke. It won't. Just because I'm prepared for that already. Because I was broke before. Let some people tell it. You get what I'm saying? I was broke. Me, I know myself, I always hustle. But was I a hundred thousand there? Hell no. Was I a millionaire? Hell no. Was I just... A couple thousand there, yeah. All you know, what I'm saying after I pay my rent type shit, yeah. Always, you get what I'm saying. Always had mine since I was 16 years old. But what I mean, I'm saying that to say like everybody's struggle is not even the same level of struggle. Like you know what I'm saying. What, what y'all consider broke ain't what motherfucking when Donald Trump go through his shit and they file for bankruptcy and all of that shit. That ain't they broke. A nigga still gonna hop on a PJ. A nigga still gonna ah uh, ah. Uh, and he's considered broke right now. You just have to plan. And this is for young girls who just want to listen and learn something. And I'll be in my DM all the time. Like, I'm like, give us some game. How did you do this? How did you get that? How did you do that? Don't ever play yourself. In my Cali voice, don't ever play yourself. Man, y'all know y'all need that money. You know you sitting at home. You ain't doing shit. Don't tell these motherfuckers you, it's 20000 to book you. We ain't never been booked. And you, you ain't got nothing on the radio. And you ain't motherfucking, come on, man, what you do? You ain't got no clothing line. You ain't do nothing. The, the bare minimum, you are a, um, what y'all be putting in y'all bio? A public influencer, influencer, whatever the fuck that shit is. That, you that. Tell me what you want. Huh? Man, just chill out and go motherfucking. Yeah, get the bag they giving you right now. Build your shit up. And keep going. That's just like anybody's like a hairstylist. You build your clientele until you get like that. And then boom. Then you motherfucking pipe it up. You got to be worth it. You feel what I'm saying? Like even when I first started out, I was going to clubs. And they was, I didn't know how it go at all. But they was telling me like, oh, we had such and such. I ain't going to say nobody's name. They like, oh, we had such and such. She didn't even speak to the people. She blocked off the section. She was snooty. She had a nose in the air the whole time, got her bottles, took a drink and left. That was like, damn. So what I was doing, I might they might look at me like, and this bitch overworked, like she over and tuned in, tapped in with the people. 
But I was just having fun. That's how I feel like for like anybody that's about to do a show or get another show. I had somebody call me like two weeks ago, like, what I should do? I'm about to be on the impact of such and such. I can't say which state next either. But I just informed them, like, be yourself and just have fun with the shit. Have fun with it. And don't don't think you too much. Don't if you got any motherfucking thing in your head saying I'm finna go in here and act like this bitch cause she made it, you already lost. You gotta be your motherfucking self. You already gonna lose. You can't go in there and try to act like the next one will work for them. They, they probably ain't gonna work for you. Don't do that. Just be yourself. If they fuck with you, they gonna fuck with you. At least you could know I was me. I was true. I was true to who I am. That's the, that's the least thing. At least you could take that with you. If you go in there being somebody else and then they curve your ass still, you gonna feel stupid. Because you're going to always have it in your head like, damn, I wonder how they would have uh, resonated with me if I was just myself. Be yourself. Is it? If they fuck with you, they fuck with you. Everybody not going to be your people. Who cares? And at the end of the day, none of these motherfuckers going to make it out of here alive anyway. Everybody going to die. Have fun. Every fucking day. Have fun. It wouldn't matter what I do. It wouldn't matter what I do. Bitch, as long as I'm motherfucking cool with it, that's all that fucking matter. I wouldn't give I don't give a fuck what a bitch say. Me. I do not care. And when y'all be talking about other people on my page, what y'all be wanting, like a pat on the back, or y'all want me to tune in, and y'all want to turn this into gossip hour, if you follow the conversation, then you will know I'm not on that. I'm just dropping jewels to y'all, and I'm trying to clear up some shit about myself on this shit. So you keep bringing up motherfuckers, I'm not going to entertain that, because I still don't give a fuck. Yeah, even if it, even if you on my side, stop bringing them folks up. Go over there. You're not gonna get that out of me, so I don't know. Right, like that ain't what we do over here. Got to be new. My throat edge. Bitch, if you gotta come on somebody's page and yarn, you in the wrong location, ho. I don't even waste, like, a lot of shit that y'all do be so corny and y'all be thinking it's so lit and, like, oh yeah, y'all be waiting for a laugh and a kiki and y'all really wind up just looking stupid. Yo, motherfucking self, bitch. Swear. Swear. Why I joined the show? A bag. Lemmy. He been trying to do something to me. I was actually signed to Zeus before. Um, It was just China over there, I feel like. It was, yeah, China was the only thing over there. It wasn't nobody else but China. And was Chance over there? It was China. I think they did. B. Simone and another day and show or something. But I was gonna come on there and be the next person that like right after China, but then COVID happened. So everything was on pause for everybody, for every network. And then we didn't revisit the situation until the conversation. So we've been in communication like me and Lemmy and him just trying to get me on there and get me under the umbrella before I just drop my shit. He wanted me to like help some other people out first. This is so everybody, you know, that's how that's, that's how they work over there. Like they like to form a team and then work with them them same people if they, if they hit if they say it. So that's what we was doing before we release my show or whatever. But now I think I'm going another route. All love to Lemmy and to the Zeus family, and we still gonna work whatever if it makes sense to me in the future. But um, 
I got something coming out even before we even get to that conversation again, if I even want to have it. Love you too, gang. Mm. What you do, Keish Wee? What you do? Bitch said she kind of not with us, but like with us. I ain't gonna lie, she ain't lying. As soon as I, it was bad energy as soon as they walked in. But when I went in that motherfucker, it was smooth. But when they walked in, it was, that shit was crazy. Mm. Thank you, hot girl cookie. Yeah, it's playing in the back because that's what we talking about, bitch. And it's a show that I'm on that I got paid to do. Fuck. I would never put my documentary. If I ever release part two of the documentary, it's going to be on my own terms with my own cameraman. I would never, ever give my life to those people over there and put it in their hands. Never, ever. Never ever. Just because it's a lot of shit that made me uncomfortable even when we on our best day. And I don't trust my Fuck no, we gonna do it just like like how we did. We thugged it. Um get well soon, AJ, who um did my documentary. He was in a bad car accident and I'm praying for his, his recovery. It was a bad situation. Shout out to Prince Green. He recorded that. Prince Green and Greg. Greg worked for VH1. He, um, AJ stuck with us. He recorded it and Greg edited it. So that was my team right there. And I pray that um, AJ come out of this situation better than ever because he the only one I would want to like or I would trust to be around me to shoot me. Like that. You feel me? It's about relationships and trust. When it comes to something like that, it can't be played with. Cash! She right here. She right here. I was just about to comment on your live. What? <laughs> How's this? It's an in law suite and a, um, for my family when they come. Yeah, that other door that's a whole nother house. Yeah. Okay. Hey, boys. <laughs> Please do this wig, bitch. I think I want to go short, Cash. Okay. Yeah, she smoked dope. Mm hmm. Right, right with your favorite grandma. When she um put her head down the suck dick, I take her pipe. Your favorite grandma and your mama. And your kids, bitch, they be right there too. So this closer. Yeah, it is. Good. Good, bitch. So we can pull up. Thank you. I haven't even decorated. I gotta wait for all of my shit to get here from Cali. The thing is, I do miss the part, man. I do. And it ain't even just that. It's just like, it's far. It's far, but I do like that. You know, I always live in the house, like, for, uh, so it's. I always live in the house. I just wish the house was. In the city. Thank you. Huh? It do. Oh, you do not. 
Exactly. Mm-hmm. Show do. I got a different but I, what you feel like? You could just cut this. Cause I'm about to get um I'm gonna do something with my natural hair. I've been wearing wigs for a little minute now. Keep it. I mean the wig look good though. I only had it for like a couple of days, what four? Yeah, it's good. Like it's still four and stuff. We can redo this. Redo it. Okay. Well, I got some new ones upstairs too. But I don't feel like waiting for the whole. The process? Yes, bleach <laughs> this, that, no. Okay. Gotta go. But you wanna cut this one though? Make sure you wanna cut mm -hmm. it. Okay. Try the shit up. I had cut my hair, so my real hair is not that long right now. My real hair is short as fuck, like a natural. I cut my hair. They say, what's the best part of Miami to stay in? Mm -hmm. <laughs> a lot. And that ain't even Miami, nigga. <laughs> it's all that brown work. <laughs> Uh, Midtown, y'all love me. I did love Midtown. I ain't gonna lie. I like Brickle. I like, um, you like Coral Gables? Yeah, it's just far. It kind of reminds me of. You think Coral Gables is far? Yes. No. Well, it might be over here, though. That's yeah. Got my sister, we gonna always be cool. What happened? Y'all don't see us on here every day. We busy working. <laughs> but y'all ain't got time for nobody every day no more. Hollywood Beach. I ain't never been to Hollywood Beach. But for mm -hmm. a lot of that beach is nice and it's clean. Yeah. It's cleaner and it's it's a vibe oh. over there. Yeah. Y'all know where I do like too, though? Boca, and I like Palm yeah. Beach. I love Palm Beach. Y'all hoes is not gonna see me take my wig off. Good <laughs> boy. Boca, Palm Beach. My little 